Well, my friends, we've come to the end of the road. All episode long, we've been going north to south, showing you some of the best spots on Harlem Avenue. And when Jason on Facebook said there was a place in Palos Heights that had a long family history of making great pies, I knew it was the perfect place to end our trip. We're at Joe's Italian Villa. So Frank, I don't know if you heard this rumor or not, but on our show, yeah, we kind of like pizza. Tell us a little bit about Joe's Italian Villa. We were established in 1947. My grandfather, after the war, started the pizza place. I've been coming here for 50 years. Over 20 years. Been coming here since I've been 12 years old. I could eat this every day of the week. Only time we're not here is when we're sick or on vacation. I don't think he's ever let me down when it comes to the pizza. It's really, really good. I'm getting the impression from you, Frank, that there is a certain south side sensibility to this place. It's someone to have this fun with. This is not a corporate place. <laughs> oh, may I help you, sir? No, no, no. Come on, hey. How you doing? Say hi. Why are you here at Joe's Italian Villa, Chicago's best on Harlem Avenue? What we do different is we cook the pizza. We just don't melt the cheese on it. It goes through the conveyor <laughs> belt, comes out the other side, and it's melted. You gotta cook the pizza. You and I gonna get in the kitchen? And... Yes, sir. What do you want to do first? Should we make the sausage first? We'll make the sausage. Okay, and then we're gonna cook pizza. We're not gonna melt that. No. Harlem style. Chicago style. Frank's tossed me off to his brother, John, and John is the the sausage maestro? Yeah, the sausage maestro. Okay, talking to sausage maestro, pork. it starts life off as, as pork butt. Pork butt, correct, okay. yeah. So we're gonna trim it, cut it, and then grind it up. How long have you been doing this for, John? 40 years. They started you off as a kid? Yeah, 75 cents an hour when I started. Right. Okay, then we're gonna open it up the butt and actually cut it. Sorry, what? Well, start again? We're gonna open up the butt. Hey now. Look at that, beautiful. So our butts are primed, but we need to add this, obviously. This is grandpa's recipe. That's it, one That's turn? It. That's it, one turn, yeah. If you overdo it, then it makes the meat a little mushy. That's why I always tell all the ladies yeah, as well. Yeah. So when you take it in front, go for a full grind? Exactly. Okay. That's it? That's it, we're done. So I need to go and see Frank again. Yeah, Frank. All right, John, you're the man. Hey, you did a great job. Oh, no, you're the sausage maestro. You just conducted <laughs> me, my friend. Okay. Nice part. <laughs> Your brother told me the secrets of the sausage. Now we just need to make the damn pizza and eat it, my friend. We're on it. Two and a half scoops of sauce. Grab a handful of sausage. It's our sausage that we made. Big handful of cheese. Okay, well, we got room in that oven. Yeah, you guys better make some room in the oven. Is that your job, too? No, that's your job. Okay. Because my job's getting out of the kitchen now. <laughs> I've already made enough of a mess here. The thin crust. Love the sausage, homemade. This sausage is definitely the best. On a scale from one to ten, I give it an eleven. These go to eleven. Here's to you. Damn good beer. Yeah? You know what's good with damn good beer? Damn good pizza. Yeah. <laughs> oh, cracker thing base, big rich sauce. I love that sausage. That has a real chunky grain to it. Yes, it is. That pizza almost feels cooked and not melted. Takes a lot of love. Hey, there's a lot of love on Harlem Avenue. <laughs> and for that, I am truly thankful. To Harlem Avenue. Harlem Avenue. To Joe's. Good to meet you guys. Thanks for coming. Come again. Bring your friends. <laughs>